Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining us. Tommy's feeling a little under the weather today. A little bit, a little bit crappy today. I think it was the coffee. So I, I wasn't feeling all that hot either with the coffee, and I think it's because of the brand that we tried, and so. Family Dollar Coffee sucked. <laughs> so, so yeah, so we I ended up giving it to the flowers outside. I dumped what we had left of the coffee onto the flowers. So they'll like it. They love coffee and they love alcohol. <laughs> oh, wait, is it too early to talk about that one? <laughs> and I, I tried everything to make that coffee work, man. Different creamers and cappuccino mixes and it, yeah, yeah yeah so he's not feeling all that good and so he's like it's your show today so i'm like uh-oh you <laughs> put me on the spot at the last second but let's welcome everybody so don't have... pay yourself <laughs> so hello craig good morning good morning you were number one awesome awesome aunt kelly Thank you for being here. Much love. I love you, Aunt Kelly. Um, Mabel, welcome. No money, G. Good morning. Oh, look, the bargain effects in chat. You want to say hi? I don't know about that guy. <laughs> <laughs> right? I would have to second that one. <laughs> good morning, Eric, the cherry picker. Good morning, good morning. Lisa C, much love. Good morning. Let's see, who else do we have in here? Um, yeah, Mr. Oh, Grimes. Yes, Mr. Grimes Fines is in the house. Good morning and welcome. Your package is on its way, sir. Yes, so sir. I do. What's that? I said, yes, sir. It yes, is. sir. Yes, sir. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Best to hang through. I do. I don't know what it is. I, I, I felt by when I woke up. Yeah. And I had a cup and a half of coffee and just was like, kind of shaking out of it though. I got my super chill lemon lime. Yeah, he he likes his his cheap soda. <laughs> oh yeah, four twelve packs for nine dollars. That's all me all day. It's a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope everybody else is doing good today. Uh, feeling good, feeling chipper, feeling productive. Uh, looks like they're talking about sales. Uh, no money. G says, Lisa, my sales are really crazy the last few days, and not complaining. That's good. That's good to hear. That's awesome. We've been consistent. We're not like super slow we're not super fast we're just it's consistent i'm not really complaining about nothing but i'm not super excited about anything either <laughs> good morning the family flips what up joe it's what wednesday now yeah it's midweek already right it's Things are just going so fast. Our days are going by fast, super fast. Oh, Hello, God. Yellow Brick Road reselling. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Cherry Picker says, no sales, but I'm still building my store back up. Yeah, last week, I wiped my store out. I mean, I completely wiped it out and ended everything and just been going through and liquidate pricing a lot of a lot of old inventory touching it touched every listing so now i'm at, starting to add again add on top of that so mabel wants to, mabel said no robe today <laughs> robe, robe is uh pre 8 30. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's been dressed for quite a few hours already today he got up extremely early so, you know, yeah, if you want to catch me in my robe, it's going to, it has to be on like Veronica's channel or Larry and James on the weekend, Kelly Picker. Then you might be able to catch me in the robe. 
You mean Victoria? Victoria, yeah. <laughs> wow, honey. That's what I meant. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, I'm not feeling tip top at the moment. <laughs> so my my state has got me hanging here today. Still no update. Oh, yeah, to see if it's going to reopen. Yep. Yesterday, the they had the hearing because our Republican Party took our governor, which is a Democrat, to court. They sued him in the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Sued our governor and the, the head gal of DHS for their safer at home order not really the safer at home order but to be criminally charged if you're not at home they say that's abuse of power yeah people were people got arrested so for not a bite so i watched the whole hearing yesterday and then they said they were gonna reconvene it was adjourned till 1 30 then they're gonna meet in private chambers at 1 30 and we still have not heard nothing yeah. I'm just waiting for the hey what's up dad's vintage garage okay so uh jr kr 1964 is in wisconsin as well i believe she's down she's only like an hour from us yeah i forgot where where are you located in wisconsin again i forgot but i know you're not real far from us yeah she's down by madison which is I like their teriyaki chicken at the mall in Madison, so. <laughs> yeah, Appleton area. And that's that's the area that we're actually looking oh. to move is more, more over towards Appleton, at least like within a half hour trip of Appleton. I don't know if we want to be right in town. I'd prefer to be like on a outside outside. So yeah. my bad, wrong area. But you're still only like less than two hours away. <laughs> yeah. Before all this shutdown, we were we were going over to Appleton. Well, we were going to the Fox Cities area, almost mm -hmm. on average at least once a month, to the bins over there. We do like a two day trip. Yeah, and sometimes it it, it turns into a lot longer because <laughs> they give us a discount on the room. So Tommy's like, "Do you want to stay?" <laughs> I'm like, sure. <laughs> Combined locks area. That's right. Why did I think that was down by Madison? I don't know. See, I'm, I I live in Wisconsin. Been here since I was 11. Still can't get the state right in places. I got to look up. Lisa said that she would love to be in Wisconsin, but could not take winters here anymore. And you know what? A lot of people are like that. They come up for the, the summer, and then they, they go back down south or out west during the winter time. So. So, okay. So, I'm looking at where combined locks is in relation to where we go. So, she's like on the other side where we go because we're usually up by the fox river mall area yep that's because of my teriyaki chicken <laughs> he makes me happy that way <laughs> well well when we come over there to do our our bins digging or something maybe, maybe we can get together and do a lunch or something like that I yeah that would be awesome i love meeting people i forgot to shut my curtains we, in the back before we move out of this dang state I better go shut those. Well, it don't look bit too bad. Okay. That's bad. Yeah, the winters the winters are horrible. My body's getting too old and frail for the winters here. She says she's ten minutes from the mall. On the map it looks like she's like a lot further. Seems like it would be a lot further. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, she's right next to Little Shoot, and we go over to Little Shoot for what? What do we go over there for? One Golden of the Corral. Four? No. Is that the Golden Corral one? No, I don't think so. I think that's where one of the Goodwills are. There's a Goodwill right there in Little Shoot, right? Oh, I'm 
sure there's lots. Hello, Gary. Good morning hey. and welcome. What's up, buddy? I'm just going to say it now. Gary, you surprised me. I thought you were a lot older than you were or that you than you are. <laughs> Your stupid change to make offers when they accept, they have to pay immediately. Everyone's biggest complaint both times I got eBay employees in person and they were going to change it. Not. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I would love it. If they want to make an offer, they should automatically commit to being billed immediately if you accept the offer. I, I agree with that, too. I hate that because they'll make an offer, you accept it, and then you sit there and wait two, three days for them to pay. It aggravates me. You know, just a 41, that's what we take in. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe, we'll, maybe we can get together. Like I say, do a lunch or a dinner or something sometime. Go dig through some bins. I don't know. Something. It would be cool. <laughs> no money, Jesus. Hey, Gary, you look good for 73. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you were like in your 50s. And I know you do not look like you're in your 50s. You look like you're in your 30s. Yeah, he looks pretty pretty young. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong if you're not in your 30s, but... <laughs> that's, that's, that's what happens when you live in a nice warm climate and you don't have the winters beating you up every year. You get to stay younger looking. True yeah. that. True that. You're 37. See, I was good. I thought he looked like he was in his 30s. He's only a couple of years younger than me. <laughs> I'm gonna. He's still a baby. <laughs> I'm gonna drop the the Streamyard link in here if anybody's interested in coming on and joining us for some discussion. What up, Jacob? Good morning, Jacob. Foo -foo. It's good to see everybody in here. I I really appreciate you guys coming in. Yes, we do. I have that song in my head, <laughs> Jacob. Which song? Your no, no, -no, -no Bunny Boo Boo. Your No No Square? No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta explain that. Now I have that one in my head, and I have Jasmine doing the dance. <laughs> no, people, people want to know what I'm talking about with the No No Square song. They'll just have to stay tuned to your channel for the upload. Wait for yep. it. Yep, it is so funny. But there's gotta we gotta wait till we're in the right place to record our daughter singing it. Otherwise, it would just not make totally, it totally give the wrong impression. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna say she learned it off of YouTube. Yes, she did. And not from like a bad channel. It's no. It's a play on words. Yeah, it is. And now it's like one of my top favorite little things that skits that she does cracks me up every time. So Actually, let me see something else. Some Florida older people in fifties and sixties look like raisins. Oh no. <laughs> And Gary says he's 37, feeling like he's 60 sometimes. Do you live where there's snow? I'm going to move for a second, huh? Okay. Do you live where there's snow, Gary? Because I know that that's how we feel. Um, I got to go back up and chat. It jumped on me, so I apologize. Um Wait, no, I, I heard it through the grapevine, California raisins running there. <laughs> Isn't it funny how people can, like, say certain things or you can see certain things and it triggers a song and that you just can't get out of your head? And, and it happens. Like, I have the no-no -no square in my head because Tommy said it, and I have, you know, Jazlyn dancing around. But then on top of it, I have little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest going through my head at the same time. So my brain is very confused. <laughs> I 
Uh, Mabel says it's true, but I don't look like a prune. Don't touch it. That's my no-no. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy. Oh, well, I looked. I looked at. Just looked up, and there's like way too much on YouTube with it. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, my head is like old school MTV, and it's on all the time. See, I love music. I love how. If I'm in a certain mood, I can listen to a certain song and it like, you know, makes me happy or it, it takes me to a good memory from my past. So, oh, San Diego, California. Oh, okay. He lives in San Diego, California. Isn't that a place where you said you wanted to take me to visit? Yeah, San Diego is beautiful. <laughs> I've been I've been there a few times when I was driving truck years ago and isn't that where Full House was filmed? No. I don't know. I don't know. I know it's where Three's Company took place. I don't know if it's where it was filmed. No, I said Full House. Full House? I think it was San Francisco, was it? Yeah, because if you think of a morning show on Full House, it was Wake Up San Francisco. Oh, okay. See, now I get it all confused. Me and geography, not good. Not good, but it's okay. I'll eventually get it. Oh, and Three's Company was Santa Monica. Well, they were always talking about the San Diego Zoo in Three's Company. That's why I thought it took place in San Diego. Because I used to watch that show, like, all the time. <laughs> I just recently, what, in the last two, year or two? No, in the last year... Found out what um, Laverne and Shirley, that show. Yeah, she didn't even know who Laverne and Shirley was. No. And then when we met um, um, Derek's wife, um, Tommy was like, oh, she sounds like Laverne. And I'm like, who? <laughs> right. So, yeah, so he had to introduce me to, I don't, like, I didn't see Happy Days or anything like that either. I mean, I knew about Happy Days more than I knew about Laverne and Shirley, but I didn't know anything about Happy Days other than the name of it. And then well, That's because everybody knows the bronze. Right? We have a, a, what, a bronze or a gold statue in Milwaukee? Yeah, down, down in Milwaukee by the river walk, we have the bronze fonds. yeah. Bronze life size statue of Bonzi. Okay, so Jacob said I used I used to live in Shadow Ridge and I don't know how to say that last or that other name for a hot minute. Let me see if I can find it. Shadow Ridge. See and and I lived in Florida and Wisconsin. To you. Oh. That's it. <laughs> I lived a little everywhere. I lived in Vegas. I lived in Reno. I lived in Salt Lake. You moved a lot more than me. I think you have more gypsy blood in you than me. Well, when I was younger, you know, that was all in my like early, early 20s and 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24. You have gypsy blood in you if you move that much and experience that much. I want to I wanna live in a camper and gypsy it out and travel. <laughs> oh, now Cher's going through my head. Sorry. What is going through your head? Cher. Oh, boy. Today's going to be a music day, huh? It is going to be a music day. Um, let me think of what the name of the song is. Actually, let me look up the name of the song. Um, oops. Lisa C says she lived in many places. Her dad was career Air Force. All three of us kids born in different states. <laughs> okay, so the share song that's going through my head is called Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves. I love that song. I don't know it. 
You don't know it? I don't know it. <sighs> Honey, you're going to be introduced to that song after the live. Okay. And I mean, I probably heard it, but I just. Oh, I'm it. sure you have. I'm sure you have. Um, it was before her Turn Back Time song with her butt tattoos hanging out. <laughs> Jacob says, I sing it with my share voice. Yay! <laughs> she actually has um, an amazing voice. And um, when she was with Sunny, she, yeah, that was an interesting combo set up <laughs> for singing together. <laughs> Not that he was a bad singer. He just wasn't a good singer. But they <laughs> complimented each other. Just saying. Yeah, exactly, Lisa. I think he will, he'll know it when he hears it. I'm sure. I I sure. Had, <laughs> did you see, you see Grimes Fines? I have a share voice. It comes out best with I believe. <laughs> That's great. We are going to have to so do a karaoke when we travel. and we meet up with people, we'll have to do karaoke. Got to do their best share impression. Got to find the karaoke bars. Yep. For sure. Well, you know, we were supposed to have the, let's see, I think I still have it handy here. <laughs> Yeah, it I know what you're talking about. It's on it's over by your other side down past your photo booth. Over here? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. The birds are saying good morning. For you, but I don't know if you guys can tell that they're singing. We were supposed to have the, the, the Pittsburgh meetup. And I bought these. I was going to sell them. I picked them up at an auction really cheap. But I figured, nope, I'm going to keep them for the meetup so we can do have a karaoke night. <laughs> I need a couple shots to get warmed up. <laughs> I'm not even sitting here. They're brand new. Jacob says, good morning, Mr. Pickles and Bird Crew. Yeah, I can hear the parakeets just the same in a way. Oh, yeah. Uh That's your bird. That's Remy. Gary's got a karaoke bar near him. It's a hole in the wall named the cow shed. That's what I like. I like the little hole in the wall bars. I'm not too old for the big club scene. I all grew that. I've been to one club, maybe two in my life. The first one doesn't count because I was picking somebody up that was working. <laughs> and it really wasn't a, a club. It was a strip club. I was picking her up for Mark. And then um, the, the one that I went with you to Jackie's thing. Where we go? I don't know. You said that it was a place that you and your brother used to go to. I know. I don't know where Jackie had her thing. I don't remember. I've been Downtown. To uh, I don't know what it was called. Oh. Yeah. What the hell is the name of it now? See, it's been too long. It used to be Bar Milwaukee, but now I don't remember what they changed over to. Can't remember. Oh, well. But, yeah, that was a club club. We, I used to do the club club stuff. But we'd go down. We'd get the free beer parties at the clubs. We'd go down and drink all our free beer, and then we'd go back to our little home bar and do dollar shots all night. JRKR says, I might be more willing to do it. Um, she says she has a bad singing voice. Uh, there is no warming up this voice. Uh, yeah, I <clears throat> I got to have a couple shots to sing in front of people. Okay, so a little bit more than a couple shots. I got to be feeling really good. <laughs> um, Andrew, a UK reseller. Stores his stuff in a cow shed. Hmm. 
and no money g said lived at the club in the 90s yep. I, I was still really young in the 90s i wasn't club age <laughs> that's when i was doing my clubbing in the 90s yeah i i was too young for that in the 90s although i did like i said the other day you know i finally figured out how to burn cds but <laughs> now that they're out of style <laughs> but um tommy told me i had to make sure that the songs played all the way through before I didn't do a very good job of it. So, yeah. I said you got to make sure your CD is clean before you burn it. See, I even got that wrong. <laughs> I thought it was clean. Don't do no good if you're trying to burn over like dust or a big old fingerprint or. I, but that's only one song that got messed up. Only one. Yeah, you got lucky. Because those those blanks have been sitting around for years. Surprised they worked at all. <laughs> the first two didn't at all. And, yeah. I did my fair share in the 90s and early 2000. Where did you live in the 90s, Greg? Wait, did I miss? I missed something. <laughs> 90s, I was a big part. Well, I was early 90s. I was living in Vegas, so I was in all the Vegas clubs. And then came back to Milwaukee, and then the Milwaukee clubs compared to Vegas is like, man, these are lame. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I didn't get to experience that that life. I don't miss too much. It was a lot of morning headaches and nonproductive. I know that now everybody <laughs> drinks. I, I get the sympathy hangover. It really stinks. Oh. Yeah, I don't get hangovers though. No. No, I didn't. I haven't gotten hangovers for years and years and years, just when I was younger. <laughs> nice. Can't get a hangover if you never stop drinking. Why you look confused? I'm trying to follow chat and I'm getting confused. Re uh, Jacob said, remember the beach? I only went there once at for my 21st. My 21st birthday, I was at a bowling alley. <laughs> I stopped in and had a shot of gold schlagers. Never again. <laughs> gold schlager with a drop of Tabasco sauce and it tastes just like a red hot candy. Man. I used to drink the hell out of those. Well, you know, th that was my first shot ever. I don't even... Jacob, I don't even remember what the clubs were called. I was in such a, a a party haze most of the time I lived there. We'd just get together. People would just hop. We'd just go from one to another. No Money G said, remember I used to get my bootleg DVD saying they didn't play. I turned it over and and full of greasy fingerprints. I cleaned them off and gave them back. It works now. <laughs> yep. I oh, a lot too. Jacob said the beach was a club in Vegas. Yeah, no. That's what I responded to. Oh. <laughs> it just came through for me. Uh, Gary says, I don't remember my 21st <laughs> birthday. That means it was probably your best birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the casino too on my 21st birthday and my brother went into the, the machine there where you can grab all the money because I was scared of it. And yeah, him and my ex spent all the money that I was supposed to get for my birthday in there. And yeah, well, so I didn't get my birthday money. <laughs> well, you, no, you, you should have went in there and got it yourself. Well, 
I was terrified of being in enclosed places. And then with it swirling around everything, I was just like freaked out. So my brother did it and never again will I let my brother do that. I was in that machine twice here at Ho-Chunk. Yeah. The first time I sucked at it. By the time, by the time it was over, because you only get like 10 or 30 seconds or something like that. By the time it was over, I figured it out. So the next time I did much better. So yeah, my 21st birthday, we stopped at the bowling alley. I had my first shot. And then we went to the casino. And that was not fun. <laughs> it's a lame birthday. I mean, I'd be content with that like now, but. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. I, it was, it was all right. And then I hear everybody else talk about their twenty-first birthday. Is like, I got gypped. Can't help it. See, Jacob said that always looked fun, Des, but I never did it. See, I'm not the only one. <laughs> it didn't go in that machine. <laughs> Mabel I, said, "My twenty-first birthday was loaded with." Mad Dog 2020, Milwaukee's Best, <laughs> Pabst Blue Ribbon, and some off-brand rail shots and a whole bunch of snops. That will give me a big old headache. The Well, yeah, the two beers alone would give you a headache. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, we didn't, we didn't said, have Boone's Farm, Jacob. I don't think they had Boone's Farm yet. I have some on the counter <laughs> that I that I forgot to take out of the freezer and the lid blew off. When I when I turned twenty one, all Mad Dog had was grape and I think maybe orange jubilee. Now you go in there and it looks like a, a bunch of crayons on a shelf. They have so many flavors. Yeah, but the one that's in the dolls didn't have that many flavors. No, you, you have to actually go to a bigger one. Um, good hey. morning, Victoria and Amy. Welcome, welcome. Mm. Uh, Mabel says you're telling your age, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm either 47 or 48. I don't remember. He was born in 71. <laughs> you don't remember either. See. <laughs> so I, I, I lost track. 47 or 48. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, that mad dog throw. You're going to be 49 at the end of the year. Okay. Hey, Larry. That means next year you're going to be the big five. Oh. <laughs> See, the only thing I have left to look forward to is getting an ARP card. Getting a what? An AARP card. Oh, boy. <laughs> I dropped the link if any of the newcomers. What what can you get ARP at? You get it at 50 or 55? You gotta be 55, right? 50. I want it because I want them discounts. 50? <laughs> Somebody said 50. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's from what I said. Uh real quick, Mabel said that she 50. had kids oh. by 21. Do what? Said uh May Mabel said that she had two kids by 21. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Joseph and Jasmine were born way later in my life. You can get it at 50. I'm getting my car. That's the first thing I'm doing. I'm going to get my, my AARP car. But you have to wait until Christmas Day. That'll be your Christmas Day and gift, I, huh? And I can compile it with my AAA discounts. <laughs> <laughs> Amy said she had two kids before 21 as well. Yeah, I had Joseph at 26 and Jasmine at 27. So I was, a, I was in my late 20s. Should have waited longer. No, should have had them earlier. 
<laughs> Make up your mind. We well, I, I, I was like, well, well, if you had them earlier, they'd be 18 now and be like, all right, we get some adulting time. <laughs> We're just going to be partiers after they move out of the house. We'll be older partiers. <laughs> Yellow Brick Road said, AARP costs money to join. Not worth it, in my opinion. But I eat out a lot. <laughs> and, we, and we go to a lot of motels. Uh, good morning, Larry. Good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome. Uh, my Aunt Kelly says, I am 48 years old. I have three grown children, and I have five grandchildren, so do the math. My oldest is 30. She started at 18. And she's only eight years older than me. My auntie, mm -hmm. she babysit me when I was a baby. I was her little bar or baby doll. <laughs> Larry, Larry's 59. I didn't think you were 59, Larry. I, thought you were I did not either. A little bit. I thought you were in your younger 50s, honestly. It's the same age as my mom. Are close. My mom was born in 61. So yeah, he's the same age as my mom. I was in the army. The cherry picker said I was in the army at 21. I got married and got pregnant all at the age of 21. Still married to that sexy beast. That's awesome. Jacob, I do an auction on Mondays. Apparently that's where it's at. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> uh, JRK, JRKR says, can't fathom people that have kids when they are over 40. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I, do, I would never want, I mean, I'm going to be older when um, the kids, if they ever decide to have children when they're much older. So I'll be actually an older grandma so i think it's a perfect age although tommy's gonna be a lot more older than me because he's like nine years older than me <laughs> i'm gonna be one of them grumpy old grandpas <laughs> no you're not no you're not um how do you know because i know you you're gonna be like your dad I'm not gonna take no crap but you're gonna be the fun grandpa I'm going to be the one that's going to just spoil the kids rotten so their kids get spoiled and then make them as miserable as they make us. <laughs> He's going to hype them up on, you know, let me translate. He's going to hype them up on sugar and send them home to their mom and dad. Mountain Dew and sugar packets. Yeah. <laughs> um, see, Aunt Kelly said yes. And uh, Jacob said, don't be fooled by the rocks that he got. He's just, he's just Larry from the block. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, Larry says, at the bargain effect, I caught that stop you thought I was, oh, I caught that stop you thought I was older, LOL. Wait, what? No, I actually thought you were younger, Larry. I thought you were like, I don't know. 54, right in there is where I pictured you. If I would have had to guess. Jared Kerr says, they will melt your heart and will let them, and you will let them do anything. Oh, I don't even like kids. What's that? I don't even like kids. Oh, you do too. I know. You I just don't know. Don't your own. Yeah. <laughs> No, I always, like, growing up, I was never a big fan of kids. But kids always seem to, like, gravitate towards me. It's like I don't like animals either, and they won't leave me alone. That's because you're a protector, and they sense that. And they know that you will knock somebody out who hurts them, be it kid or animal. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. What up? 
Oh, uh, well, not much of anything at the moment. I need to get some motivation to pack these you need to turn your packages and ship it. Uh, need more up. coffee. Turn your camera up. No way. Why? No way. <laughs> Just sit there, look at that little circle enlarging when you talk. It's all like hypnotic. Ooh. That picture looks better than what I do at the moment. You got to let people get to know the real you. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I didn't wash my face and I have eyeliner on my cheeks. <laughs> Just own that shit. <laughs> That's okay. I woke up this morning and my hair looked good, so I didn't even bother putting a brush through it. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> right? <laughs> Usually, Amy knows she's called and my hair's been all over the place. I'm like, I just woke oh, up. You you can ask Victoria when I turned my camera on after she went off live. My hair was like every direction that it could possibly go. Yeah, this is me today. <clears throat> is it bad to go to the post office in your pajamas? Because I'm seriously thinking about it. No, Absolutely, Jesse. positively not. Jesse does it all the time. <laughs> I do. <laughs> all right. I go to Walmart. Post office. I go to the grocery store. We go to the Chinese buffet. I go. To she's, she's corrupted me because I'd never leave the house without getting like fully dressed. And now I'm like, screw it. I got pajama pants and my slippers on. I'm good. I go to <laughs> as long as you don't go in your robe, you know, you're good. That's next. I, I did not. <laughs> I mean, you, who knows how lazy I'm gonna get? <laughs> I did not corrupt you, Mr. Thomas. So I wouldn't go <laughs> anywhere without being fully dressed and matching clothes. Now it's just like whatever. Okay. So lucky if I brush my hair nowadays. That just takes too much effort. <laughs> I don't brush mine either. Oh, huh. what is it? An inch long? <laughs> Probably not even. I gotta pay my cell phone bill. <laughs> you forget again? I did. Are you off? I did the same thing. Are you off? Uh huh. <laughs> it, it was due today. <laughs> Whoops! I was supposed to pay it yesterday, but I totally forgot. I always forget too, till I'm like, dang, my phone's not blowing up today. It's pretty quiet. <laughs> oh yeah, it's probably turned off. <laughs> I went to use mine the other day and it said you did not have enough money in your account. I'm like, damn it. Well, you know, I got other things more important to worry about. At least I made sure that our rent was paid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then forgot about the kids the were phone. fed. Yeah, kids ate, Tommy ate, forgot to pay the cell phone bill, but water's paid. And rent's paid, and electric's paid, and gas is paid. No money, G says. Oh, crap. I just remembered I have to pay my cable bill. That was due on the third. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Just I a few days help. late. Not too bad. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, yeah. Our, our internet bill paid. Um, yep. Right. Ours is too. Everything except for my phone was taken care of. I go to make a phone call to call my grandma, and I said that, and I'm like, why? At first, I was not fully awake. I talk to my grandma as soon as I wake up, usually. Not today, but usually I call her as soon as I wake up. And I go to call her, and I get that, and I'm like, why is it doing that? Because I thought last month I signed up the automate where it just takes it off my card on the second. You know, no big deal. But I, I put a card on the app. That way, it was easier just to push the button and it was paid. So this time when I was in there, I made sure that it's auto pay. So when my card has money or on the second, when my card has money on it, it'll just take it right out and I don't have to worry about it. See, I keep thinking about setting up auto pay and they keep offering me discounts if I set up auto pay. But I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to do that because what if one month I just really don't feel like paying it at that particular time? <laughs> just go in and change it. I don't I don't like auto pays on anything. I'll pay it when I feel like it. <laughs> I know when the due date is. Well, except for the cell phone. Everything else I know when it's due. So I usually 
Well, sometimes like at the same so time with everything else. Sometimes yeah. My phone, I get so aggravated with it. I'll just let it sit for like three days. Yeah. Turn it off, and then I'll go and turn it back on. Because sometimes my phone, it, it gets monotonous. It, it's just crazy. Like, That's Ugh. why my phone's always on silent. So when like Destiny calls me, I don't always hear it, or I don't, I don't hear it. And I get to my phone and I see it. By the time I go to hit, you know, like video or whatever it is. She has already hung up because I took too long, but it's because it's on silent. I cannot stand the notification noise. I've changed it like 800 times. Ugh, it's annoying because like over and over. I don't do the repetitive stuff very well. What aggravates me is the YouTube notifications on my phone. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I check, you know, and I go and I just check every so often what what is that the subscriber button on the app or whatever to see what anybody's uploaded but i tried turning off the notification because they they literally go off like every five minutes you know somebody's going live or it's a reminder that somebody's going to go live and or somebody commented on this or it, it's just too much but i can't i tried turning it off many times i turn it shows that they're off but they still come through yeah it's crazy. Um, real quick in chat, I'm a little behind in chat, so but I want to make sure that I address a lot of the stuff in here. Um, being JRKR says being a grandparent is the best. You will like kids more when you don't have to take care of them all the time. That's probably very true. My auntie says, I love being a young grandma. I can go bike riding with the kids, go to the pool, um, over, go to the pool over the feed, go on outings. I love the fact that my grandson is 14. I did not know. My grandpa did that. He's my 14 grandpa went, already? Andrew, how old was grandpa when he was riding a bike? Was he like almost 80? Um, okay, he was he wasn't quite 80. He was in his late seventies. He gets on a bicycle and he's riding it with the kids when they're camping. <clears throat> it was my I my mom and dad were videotaping it. It was great. I tried to go for a bike ride the other week <laughs> with the kids. And I made it like three blocks and then my knee was killing me. Granted, it was a 20-inch bike. It probably would have been better if I was <laughs> more fitted to my size, but I was on, like, an old dyno, and my knees were like, I was like, okay, you guys, you go ahead. I'll meet you at home. Did you get on those rollerblades? No, I ain't trying to bust my shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't do the rollerblades. We can get them a pair of rollerblades. It might be yeah, better. I'll roller skate, but. But with with the way my ankles already have issues getting on some blades, uh uh. At least give me the right. the four staggered wheels and I'll be all right. Yeah, Maybe, you know, I've never put a pair of roller blades on ever. Like they became a thing back when I would actually go skating. And you know, you see all these people wearing them and I'm like, Yeah, I'll just take the roller skates. I'm not trying to ice skate here. You know, if I wanted to ice skate I'd I'd go ice skating. I went to roller skate. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't do the rollerblades. I remember growing up going to the roller skating rink and just having regular old roller skates. I don't like right. the, the like you pay a dollar, they give you a pair of skates. You know, with I am, but I am klutzy enough. I don't need to fall and break something. See, that's how I am now. When I was younger, oh my gosh, it was nothing for me to be at an all night skate on a Saturday night. That was my, yeah. oh my gosh, the last time I went skating before I had kids, I've taken them skating a few times. Now they have these things that look like walkers that they can hold on to while they're skating made out of um, that plastic I pipe. I don't know what it is. It, <laughs> PVC what's it called? Pipe? Yeah, that pipe. I couldn't remember what it's called. But when I was there, we had a wall. That's what we had to hang on to, a wall or each other. <laughs> but um, they they like it. We just don't have a skating ring where 
where I used to go, they they knocked it down, and that was some kind of. Actually, I think it's still a parking lot. Yeah, I buy. What up, brother? Derek. <laughs> What's up? We were just talking about you. Were your ears ringing? Yeah, boy. Nothing what did I talk about now? We were just talking about how your wife sounds like Laverne, and I had just learned at that point who the Laverne and Shirley were. Oh, it's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> it took her almost a year to find out who Laverne and Shirley was. Right. Yeah. Good morning, Melissa. It took it took uh, Destiny almost a year to find out what Laverne and Shirley was. Why kept why he kept on calling why Tommy kept on calling you Laverne? <laughs> we, we, always, we always said it took her a couple of days come, after. Come, come tell her to say hi to the camera so everybody else knows why I call her Laverne. <laughs> hey, hon. Go well, say hi. He, Tommy wants you to come and say hi. Tommy's having withdrawals. <laughs> I want to say hi to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, tired. Tired. I want all this crap over and done with. I don't. I hate it now. Because oh, I see it every day at work. I don't want to do it no more. Yeah, I'm so over it too. It's crazy. She's I'm waiting to see what happens. I, I sent you that link yesterday, Derek. Did you happen to get it? Where where our Supreme Court was hearing the case against the Saber at Home? Yeah, it came in under Destiny, though. That's because yeah, he was, I on, was on her computer. No. <laughs> he was on my computer. <laughs> Sometimes I hijack her computer and forget I'm on it. <laughs> then it's her. Well, where did Amy go? I don't know. She probably bounced out. I don't know. Um. But, don't know. So, don't laugh at me, but I made a huge deal the other day. What did you do? Went to this. Went to a thrift store, aka guy yard sale. Two weeks ago, I showed you Tommy some of the stuff that I picked up. It was right. um, some of the stuff. Well, I picked up more stuff on Thursday. I picked up a bag of jewelry. Okay. So I'm like, all right, yeah, bag of jewelry, no big deal, yeah. Well, I talked to Vicky uh, Trixie, that everybody you knows who Trixie is. Um, I was talking to her, and she's like, let me see some of the jewelry. She goes, oh, come on to Sandy's auction tomorrow night. We're just with this stuff. So I did. I made almost $300. So I had some of my mom's stuff, too. So... I said, let me go back to this place on Saturday. Vicky goes, see what the guy wants for his jewelry and let's know. I walk into the building and the the daughter was there too. So the, I said, I'm interested in this in, in some jewelry. I saw I bought a bag from you for five bucks. What can you do for me? I'm looking at what you have. She goes, Oh yeah, you can buy a couple of bags for five bucks each. I'm like, all right, cool. I says, what would you do for everything? Because everything, I said, yeah, everything. Let me talk to my dad. Because what are you offering? I said twenty dollars. Because that's what that was. I didn't know how much she had. I just, but well, what I saw, that's what I was guessing. She goes, that's a little low. She goes, let me see what my dad says. Her dad comes back with a hundred dollars. I says, eh, you know, I really, really can't do it. I only have forty on me. You know, I can't do much with it. She goes. Can you do 50? I said, 50. Sold. Go on. I bought five bins of jewelry for 50 bucks. Really? Well, you should you should make up pretty good. Uh, well, I did. I mean, is it, is it costume? Is it every, every, jewelry? Yeah. Everything. So I did auction with Cindy last Sunday. Last Sunday, I so everybody knows not gross. This is what I netted. I netted close to three hundred. See, those are the numbers that I like to hear. I don't care what you gross. I want to. I want to hear what's bankable. Right. Exactly. So, and I still have three, three more tubs. Really? Go. Hey, there you go. <laughs> well, you got you got a good score there, then. Yeah. So. If anybody's interested in jewelry, 
And I'm doing box. I'm doing uh, mystery boxes. Fifty bucks shipped. Oh, shit. It's a ten. It's a ten by eight by six box. So. Eight by eight by yep. That's quite a bit of jewelry. Yeah, that's quite. A, pulls quite a bit of jewelry in there. Yep. So. You need that jewelry hookup. That's it. Good morning, Thrift and Flip. Is that yep. right? And Melissa C. I don't know how to say the last name. Okay. Hey, Destiny, look what I found yesterday. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's what's Yep. Both yeah. of them. Yep. Um, honey. I'm gonna have to throw this chair away. Why would you break it? No, it cracked. You broke uh, another chair. <laughs> I did break another chair, and all I was trying to do was look for a pop tart that I don't have. <laughs> Looking for a pop tart. That's probably why you're breaking the chairs on damn pop tarts. Amy's back. Mm -hmm. Still won't show herself. <laughs> Can you hear me now, though? Yeah. yeah. Holy crap, yep. I was talking for like five minutes and you guys like did not could not hear me. <laughs> oh, we heard you. We so I just left. <laughs> we heard you. We were just ignoring you. No. <laughs> Thomas! Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, Yay. if he doesn't give me shit every day, I think he doesn't like me. So, you know, that that's what that is. Amy, <laughs> me, and, me, and Tommy are bro me and Tommy are brothers. Technically, I mean, literally... We're almost uh, that close. Um, we think alike, and, and Destiny can't stand it sometimes, and I know Laverne can't stand it sometimes. That we'll say something, and then two seconds later, I come back with almost a similar to. It's like we were separated at, at birth, and it's crazy. The Italian brother from another mother. There you go. There you go. Oh, now I really look short in this. <laughs> what are you using? The pink one. Yes, and it's all the way up. <laughs> you need a booster seat? I usually need a booster seat. I do need a booster seat, but you know what's funny? Get a phone book. Them. Oh, they don't make those anymore, do they? No, they, no they're the booster chairs. They're a whole chair now. But mm -hmm. I do have to say one thing. At least my feet are flat on the floor for once. <laughs> yeah, that never happens for me. Never. See, I thought, Amy I, think, Amy, I think you and Destiny are about the same size, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought you left Amy to go <laughs> get presentable so you'd turn your camera. You never. I've never. Negative. Uh, she's, wait a minute, wait a minute. I do have to. No, I cannot say. I have seen Amy in her element downstairs trying to do s some stuff, trying to find clothes. Much love, mm -hmm. Kelly. Thank you yep, for Have a great day. Great day, Aunt Kelly. Okay, I gotta turn the thing is, look at her. She won't turn her camera on. She won't turn her camera on. As soon as we end this stream, whoop, then we get to see what she looks like. <laughs> Come on, Amy. You see me look erect. Uh, look for the banana at you. Banana car. At least I want that. I look skinnier. Do what? <laughs> This the wheel. banana car. I want that. Five bucks. Okay. They're hard to come by. No, okay. I'll give you five bucks for it. All right. I love that. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Um, Sioza Sells. Uh, Lisa's racing it in the racing. You're doing pretty good, Amy, racing this this month. I haven't been following too much because I've been doing auctions on Mondays. Yeah. And no, 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 between no, no, no. getting ready for that and having my kids here, whew, I don't have time for anything else. Um, you race on Friday night. Okay. Um, what time? 6 p.m. my time, Eastern. So 5 p.m. our time. So that's 5. Yeah. Ugh. How long I, does it usually last? An hour. I okay. Um, I can, I'll probably be able to watch this Friday until like 
until like the last 20 minutes of it because I have to take my kids back to their dads. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. Destiny's doing okay with her car. Tommy's not doing bad. I, I haven't been in a race or qualifying watching for a while. Since, basically since we started getting decent weather because mm -hmm. we're either working on the yard or um, messing with one of the vehicles or I'm fishing. Yep. Yep. So... <laughs> And I'm busy dealing with my mental I wanted health. to go the other day. I swear, if you lived closer, if you lived closer, I would have been like, come pick me up. I want to go fishing. But, you know, I'm 10 hours for, is a long drive to go fishing. That's, that's a long drive. I'm looking for a fishing buddy, man. I can't find one around here. Well, we were trying to, we were trying to get Tommy to be my guide to go down yeah. to North Carolina. <laughs> Yeah. I can't get I can't get to you, Derek. I can't get to you. Come on, Tommy. Because that was right after <laughs> that, that was right after Destiny got sick again and we couldn't do nothing. I'm like, damn. I had Tommy had a free ride. He had to go from he, from from Wisconsin to Rhode Island and then take a bus ride with me down. We could have chill chill. So much fun too, man. Yeah. Tommy, does your rule apply to the birds too? If they don't calm down, they're not allowed outside either. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like they're arguing. They are at the cat. They're yelling at the cat because the cat is sitting right here. I'll just show you. Oh yeah, it's sitting right on the. Yep. <laughs> so they're yelling at her because, she, and their doors open. She's not messing with them, but they're yelling at her because she's too close. And she's looking at him like, Psh, I don't care. Keep yelling. <laughs> I can't believe we was, I'm sitting in the Outer Banks for four days, and I can't go sourcing. How do you like that? <laughs> that that's, uh, I'm hoping we open our stuff up here. I mean, it might be open by the end of the week. They said that They said that um, the, the, the Goodwill, the, what the heck is it called? The bins? Not the stores, but the big, thank you, yes. The bins will be opening next week. Oh, oh boy. Here anyway. Right, I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm gonna wait a little longer because St. Louis has it a little worse than this county does. So I'm gonna keep my distance still. I don't think they're ready to open things here yet. We're, our oh. cases are still going up. Our death rate is still going up. It went from like two to ten in like a matter of like four days. That would be destiny. What? But how, many, how many of them were actual COVID deaths? Well, that's it. That's the thing that we got to find. I don't know. That's it. Like show they said, all ten. Yeah. They said all ten of them were, but I don't. It's well, not like I can go look at records it. to find out. Yeah, yeah. don't believe it. But I figure about half of them, maybe. Yeah, because there, there's, you know, it's actually proven. There's proof out there that they're they're listing COVID deaths where they didn't actually die from the virus; they died from right. something else. But yeah, well, right, like a heart attack or a car yeah. accident, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That, me and Destiny were talking about that. Me yeah. and well, with my wife working at, at the hospital, she works at one of the major hospitals in in Rhode Island. Um, they were putting patients who were discharged. That were dead as discharges. Uh, 86, what the heck? 86 people who died, they had as discharges, not as deaths. <laughs> Isn't discharge when they let you go home from the hospital? Yeah. Right. Yes. Well, maybe they sent them well home. I mean, I guess you're going home, just a different type of home. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> they got caught with that. So. And it's the number one trauma hospital in Rhode Island. Oh wow! All right, it, Destiny. Here you go. This is this is Destiny. This is Destiny working in the yard. Ready? Right, hold on, let me. I can't. Oh. Ready? Destiny working in the yard. Watch your flick there. Oh! <laughs> wait there. Wait there. <laughs> you know who I see doing that? I see Javelin doing that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Just because that girl is always trying new things, yep, and tearing herself up. Her knee has been busted open since the weather's been nice. 
Wow. Because she keeps tearing her damn knee. Up. It'll start to heal, and then she'll do something. She'll try a new trick on her bike or on her skates or yeah. something and, and re rip it open, <laughs> tear it up. It's like, the daredevil. The daredevil. She, she is. She is. She's so disappointed because the skate park's closed and she wants to go over there and do jumps and. Yeah. 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 That's things. Well, you got to keep good medical insurance on that girl. I'm telling you. <laughs> and bail money. Ha, has, has, has his duty pay. <laughs> what are you eating on, Derek? Those I know, like right? Twizzlers bites. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh, oh. You reminded me of something. $4 at Walmart. His whole big bag. Nice. Where I... <coughs> Where's what? I know they're here. <laughs> nope. I got my off brand Kroger Juju fish. Juju fish. There you go. Yep. <laughs> I, I forgot I had them. <laughs> See, every time Derek comes on, I end up munching. Hey, Derek, I was looking for a Pop Tart. <laughs> Definitely... Well, man, what am I gonna do? Do I need to go eat some cereal or something? Yeah, you gotta go get some. That's it. Just turned into the coffee. <gasps> that is oh, awesome. they're so cute. I don't even follow anything to deal with Star Wars, but that is like the cutest thing ever. I'm getting. I'm trying to get the plush today. They have it. <laughs> is your fishy swimming? Yep. <laughs> what are you doing, Tommy? <laughs> Oh, don't feel bad. Yesterday at the auction the other day, I had um the Baltimore Orioles mascot. He was a puppet. And I'm sitting there going, and nobody wanted to buy him, so I started walking away like, oh, shit. Like, I knew I knew I, I wanted to get out of this house. because They're kissing fish. Oh, gosh. What did you put in his coffee, Destiny? I didn't put nothing in his coffee. I don't know what he's on. You didn't sprinkle some of that herbal stuff in there? <laughs> <laughs> he was up way before I was up this morning. Way before I was up. See, this is what everybody this is what everybody has to start eating. Bob. <laughs> What is that? Is that a Bob pain? Lost cereal? Oh, not cereal. Yep. All right, Victoria, have a good day. Okay. Much love, Victoria. Thank you for stopping. After her crunch, man, I had she she was in stitches the other day with that video of that stupid book that she wrote that she wrote that she uh was doing. Did you see that one? The one she was reading on our live. Yeah. <laughs> you saw that, right, Tommy? Well, I know she read one. I read a book on on our our live. What was it, Monday or something? Yeah, the Friday? Beaver. The yeah. Beaver. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, there's a video out with a lady that was trying to do it, and it was worse than Victoria because she couldn't. Like this lady could not make it through the whole video. Couldn't hold it together. Oh my God, Tommy! It was like, <laughs> have you have you seen it, Amy? No. You have not seen the video? Mm -mm. Tommy, let's let's screen share this. Hold on, let me get it up first. And I think I sent it to a lot of people. Who did I send it to? It's like it's blown up so big. It's not even funny anymore. It, well, it's funny, but it's just... Well, come on with it. Come on. I'm doing it. I'm just trying to get to it. All right, Larry. You take care. We're probably going to shut it down here in a couple minutes. I got to stretch out my stream yard time. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, what? what appointment? They should have already gone. It, it's, it's loading now. Hold on. 
It's just you now this thing sometimes is slow. Oh, my fish is gonna eat your worm. <laughs> All right, get your feet sharing with me. Um, no, I don't even see your screen share. I'm sharing it now. Oh, there you. Got hey, it? here we are. All right. This is the lady. She is hilarious. Hey, everybody. Um, you are as bored as I have been with this quarantine. I thought I would read you the new child's book I ordered offline. It is called Brenda's Beaver Needs a Barber. Trust me, you're going to love this. <clears throat> Brenda has a beaver and she's ready to confess as soft and sweet as it may seem. Her beaver is a mess. <laughs> Brenda's beaver's big. Brenda's beaver's hairy. Every guy who sees it says that Brenda's beaver's scary. <laughs> Brenda took her beaver for a swim down at the lake. By the looks that she received, she figured that was a mistake. She, <laughs> she stuffed that furry mount into a swimming suit. It stuck out all around. It was anything but cute. <laughs> this is great. Some who saw it laughed. Others were just stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda's beaver was hanging out, soaking up the sun. <laughs> her friends could not believe her. They said, we need to talk. They covered up her beaver and they took her for a walk. Brenda, dear, listen here. We want to help you out. Your beaver needs a makeover. It needs it now. <laughs> she's laughing. She's snorting. <laughs> I hope we don't seem pushy, said her biker friend, Kim. Your beaver is too put bushy. We just think it needs a trim. <laughs> <laughs> Savannah pulled her beaver back to show off what she had done. Hers had a nice long landing patch. It looked like it'd be fun. <laughs> nothing to it. Grab some clippers and a can of mousse and we'll show you how to do it. Kim produced some scissors and Chrissy had some wax. There they are. Get ready to trim up that beaver. Now all that Brenda had to do was sit back and relax. <laughs> there she is relaxing. Oh God, this is great. As they came towards her beaver, they said, do not be scared. We're going to see what's underneath that frumpy pile of hair. <laughs> it ended in just minutes. They did not leave her much. 
When Brenda's friends were beef finished, she said her beaver blushed. <laughs> beaver was so tiny they could not believe their eyes it was smooth and it was shiny it was hard to recognize <laughs> uh. <laughs> now Brenda is so proud it seems like every time we see her She's in the center of the crowd showing off her beaver. <laughs> That's just not so not right. Funny, but just not right. I'm glad my kids are way older and don't need kid books. <laughs> <coughs> that's that's, uh, that's that me funny. too. <laughs> Imagine Could you imagine that? reading that as a bedtime story? No kidding. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Child. Like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. There's no way. I would die. Like, I would die of laughter. Someone needs Jesus. Just saying. <laughs> it, was, it was funny. I mean, yeah, I've heard, I've heard it before, like Victoria, when Victoria did it. But um, this lady was just, like, on the floor. All right. And that I was great. Well, I think we are. It's ten o'clock, so I think we're gonna. Oh, no. you guys got anything special going on? You wanna? Well, qualifying at two o'clock on my channel for racing, mm -hmm. and then racing sat racing Friday night at six. There you go. I'm gonna go live tomorrow and talk about books. Anybody wants to join? Oh, I'm so excited. Can't wait to be what those kind of books. Watch that. <laughs> books that people have read. And I mean, like, <laughs> what? I'm serious. I'm not joking. Like, what kind of books are we talking here? Obviously, not children's books that talk about beavers. No, hopefully. like paranormal romance, <laughs> romance, all different kinds of genres, but not kid books. Kid books sound more of a romance than an actual adult <laughs> book. <laughs> I'm going to do my 11 o'clock in the morning mental health live. So that's my week. Mm. Amy? I'm supposed to get my package tomorrow. So sometime this week, I will be doing an unboxing, a huge unboxing, may I add, of what I ordered from an auction. Cool. 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 I've never done an unboxing, but it can't be that hard, right? No. You just take it out and talk about it. Yeah. yeah. That's you just don't take it out, Amy. You, you, you open up the box first. <laughs> oh, Dang it, I forgot that idea. step. <laughs> yeah. Just I'll have watch. to have somebody else cut the tape. I'm dangerous with knives. <laughs> It's just, it's not bad. I, I used to do them a lot, but I get so many things in now that it's just like, okay. Well, this lady, well, it's not this lady, the real, real housewife. Yeah. Her name's Angie. Yeah. Okay. She was auctioning, and I love mystery bags. Right. I don't care if it's costume jewelry, if it's like shower gel, I mean, whatever. Mm -hmm. As long as it's appropriate for kids to be around, because my kids are here and they will be helping they will right. not be on camera but they will be helping behind the scenes mm -hmm. um i know a lot of it's jewelry mm -hmm. there is like some bath and body works it, pretty much it's like 150 dollars worth of mystery because i don't oh. remember what the heck it was that i even seen anymore that's cool so i know there's jewelry can't tell you what any of it looks like um there are a few things that I'm really excited. I do remember this one necklace. I probably would never wear it, but it just, there was something about it. It was blue and red, it had stones on it. And then like the necklace part was silver. It was beautiful. Even though I probably would never, I don't wear jewelry. I don't know why I buy it because I don't wear it. But um, that was doing I'm kind of excited to see that, that one piece. What? Val's doing that now, Valamilk. She's doing mystery boxes now. She's selling. 
don't know if you well, see. I mean, you can't really go out and go to the thrift store to find stuff. Right. So right. you got to figure out other ways. This definitely makes your mind more creative. Mm-hmm. Because then you have to figure out something else because you can't do what you normally would do. Right. That's why I, when I was able to go into that, I mean, we had to put a mask on to go in, but, and I saw the jewelry, and I was just, what the heck? Hey, Tommy, Kyle got two, oh, two JFK, uh, oh, I just put it in the freaking storage, uh, two JFK Life magazines. From uh -huh. And I have, I just put it in, I have PT-109, the tin, tin boat. Yeah, you showed me that the other day. Yeah. No. Because okay. I know he's a big JFK. Well, he's a big JFK. Okay. Nut. There's a dollar bill with a door on it. Okay. Huh? You got a little doorknob. Yeah. You see? Get that dollar bill. Doorknob. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? That was my Facebook by accident. Just try to learn how to get dollar bill. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to bounce out, guys. I got to. A couple of things. Yeah, um, we're, we're shutting her down anyway. All right. We'll see you guys hopefully at two o'clock. My channel, racing qualifying. So, all right. That was good. Good. Thank you everybody for joining. Much love. Have a beautiful sure. Wednesday. We'll be back Friday morning. See you then.